Now let's turn to China's Xinjiang region. Police launched a crackdown on terror groups after a deadly attack last week that killed dozens. Police arrested a number of suspects with links to terrorism. Just this month alone, 200 suspects have been taken into custody. Hundreds of explosive devices were also seized. Seized. Xinjiang launched a one-year campaign against terrorists Friday. Meanwhile, lives for residents in Urumqi is gradually getting back to normal. Wu Show has more. Urumqi's youth palace is less than 500 meters away from the street where the attack took place. Every weekend, about 3,500 children receive training here for a variety of interest programs. Tao Wei's eight-year-old son has been learning the folk instrument Javap for two years. We go to school as usual, work as usual, we do whatever we want to do. The incident won't affect my child's enthusiasm to learn Ravap. Parents are waiting for their children outside. Mehli Gu says her son enjoys being here with his friends. I taught my child that Xinjiang is a place where many ethnic groups live. I told him to make good friends and be well together with those who are Han Chinese and other friends. Xinjiang International Trade City is also not far from the blast site. It's the largest wholesale market in Xinjiang. Tang Bo from China's northeast has been running his business here for 17 years, going from a street stall to a brand representative. You can see we're doing what we should do. The government also made a lot of efforts, and everyone's more aware of security precautions. I don't believe rumors, and I don't spread them. I'm an ordinary person. I just need to take care of my own business. The landmark International Grand Bazaar is famous among tourists for its local folk art craft. Look at this. Doesn't matter if you buy it or not. This is handmade, used under the tea table. The carpet seller says he received several tourists from Taiwan and Fujian these past two days. He's confident that tourists will continue to come and help his business boom. On the first weekend after the terrorist attack, the city is returning to normal. For residents here, life continues. The hope remains that their peace and their stability will not be disturbed. Wu Guoxiao, CCTV, Urumqi.